You remember me? Brenda from BYC Crochet. Yeah, I know it's been a minute. Longer than a minute. I want to start by saying I am really sorry. Let me fix something here. Hold on. Okay, there. I'm really, really sorry I haven't been around. I don't know if you guys know, um, back in April, I lost my job uh, at the hotel as an HR manager. They re um, eliminated my position. What they did is that they merged uh, two different hotels and then just they just kept one of the HR directors. The other HR director had been with the company longer, so I got the boot. She stayed, which is totally fine. God has a plan for each and every one of us, and sometimes it's not what we, what we think. And, so I started working at a new company in June and I like it. The company is going through some restructuring so who knows what the future holds. For right now I'm still employed, I like what I'm doing and um, unfortunately it is taking a lot of time away from being, um, being with you guys and hanging out um, here at BYC, BYC Crochet. And uh, my Yarny Cave, this is what I call my, my space, my Yarny Cave. It's one of my spaces, for those of you who have not seen me ever. But I'll give you a quick glance. This is really my office slash studio. And I share it with my husband, who also um, has his desk here. And we have a landscaping company as well. So, excuse my dog, the front door's open. So he, anything that passes by, he'll bark at. Anyway, so this is a little bit of my studio here, and um, this is some of the stuff that I've made um, within this last year. Uh, but I wanted to come on because through Facebook, I got um, an alert of some mystery boxes or mystery bags from a company called Dots Yarn Den LLC. And they had two sizes, either the small mystery bag or large mystery bag. The small was 25 and I believe the large one was 45. So what I did is I ordered two of the small ones, but the bags are like this. These two bags came within another bag and it's got the, it's, it's a Shippius, um bag. I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but if I didn't, I do apologize. Shippius bag. Um, and everything that is in here is Shepia. So I'm not sure if it's a company that just strictly deals with Shepia's. Shepia's? You guys, you know, it's probably wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. That name right there. So I did take a quick peek at it because I got it a few weeks ago. I did check on Facebook yesterday and it's still there. So if you want to check it out, once again, the name of the company is Dots Yarn Den. Um, let me see if... DotsYarnDen.com uh, Yeah, so, like I said, I, I got a message yesterday from Facebook again. They're still available, so if you want to check them out. Now, I've never bought Shepia's uh, a yarn for myself by the way what's in your cup my cup it's got coffee second cup I woke up super early had a cup of coffee ran to the store to exchange some sandals I bought for my husband that were small by the way yesterday Friday October 13th was his birthday turned 55 I know he's probably not going to watch this video, but just in case, happy birthday, honey. We had a great time yesterday at dinner. We got to have dinner with the kids and the grandkids, and uh, it was a short evening, but it was good because he had worked all day, and then he had to go to work early this morning, so back to, back to yarn. Anyways, so how about we open these bags? Let's open the first one, okay? Now, like I said, I've never bought Shippia's uh, yarn. These yarns are all new to me. And I think they're all, sh yeah, they're all. I'm not going to keep saying the name because I don't know if it's right. But in this particular bag, I got um, a Sweetheart Soft. It's 
just like a little um fuzzy yarn i only got one it's a beautiful tan color really neutral it gives me the information in meters so i'll tell you in meters you can convert it uh, usually uh, yards are a little bit more the numbers a little bit more but it's 153 meters it's considered a chunky weight even though it, it is it looks pretty thin to me it's considered chunky weight only because of all these fuzzies and that's normal to see <clears throat> it indicates that it is machine washable and dryable or lay flat to dry I guess you can do either one either lay flat to dry or machine dryable and washable sorry guys um, so this is one of that then I got one of Wonderlust again Shepius uh, yarn Wonderlust beautiful color it's got greens and tans let me open it up here so you can see look at that it's not beautiful um, oh look it's got even purple in here too oh this is really cool how many yards is it in here this is 232 meters oh god my ear is ringing I have a problem with my my left ear ringing quite a bit that's another story uh, it does indicate that it is machine washable but it doesn't say whether it's must be flat to dry doesn't say just machine washable it's got, like I said, 232 meters. It is considered a this is a 100% acrylic. This one, by the way, is 100% um, polyester. And I'm going to guesstimate that this is a, a three. It doesn't say, but it is a it is roving but I think it's like a three the thicker parts are not very thick so I'm going to guesstimate that it's gonna be like a, a DK weight lightweight what a beautiful color though look tans and purples and grays oh my god this is really beautiful this is gonna be beautiful for um, a scarf I think that's what I'm gonna do with this and I got the same one in a different colorway and this colorway doesn't have a name oh yes it does it says Zanzibar Hello. Zanzibar, color four five five, is it? Yeah, four five five. So if you're interested in something like that, Wonderlust, Shepius, Zanzibar, beautiful. And this one is color Havana. Havana ooh la la. But look, I can see if I open in here, there's something peeking in here. <gasps> oh no, you didn't. This is going to be another beautiful scarf. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my God. So Wanderlust Shepius, again, 232 yards. No, sorry, meters. Havana is the color 100% acrylic. I said backwards. 100% acrylic. Then we have something in here that I normally don't use because I live in Florida. For those of you who don't know and are kind of just stumbling upon my channel and um i'm wondering where the hell this lady's at i'm in florida it's always hot i normally don't work much with uh acrylics i try to stick to cottons and natural fibers but these two ba babies have um uh, really um sparked my interest in maybe creating some scarves just for the holiday season as as gifts but this one is definitely something not not that I would use and this one is called Peru Peru is one of the places where I would love to travel to eventually it's in my um, bucket list I don't have much in my bucket list because I'm really a plain Jane boring person but I would love to visit Peru this is 20% alpaca 80% acrylic and it's just 75 meters so not much you can do with this maybe a beanie that would be the only thing that I can imagine being done with that because there's only one of these in this bag. That's the only kind of thing I really dislike about mystery bags. And tell me if you have the same problem. Is that 
when people are making mystery bags or companies are putting together mystery bags, they don't realize that you're going to use that yarn and you want to potentially make a, a project. So yeah, they want to inspire you to buy, but in the same token, they should also put just enough to make something. So if you're a vendor out there or watching my channel, which probably not, just food for thought. Okay, and then I got, so far I've gotten four of those balls. This is all, it's still in the one bag of $25. So I got uh, three different River Wash, Shepius River Wash. I've never had this yarn. Once again, it's beautiful. It's 72% um, cotton, 22 acrylic. Now this is up my, up my alley. It's got 130 meters. Once again, um, it's not something much you can do with it. Um, can you mix them? Potentially. But this one uh, is a sport waist, so once again, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it's a, it's a very thin yarn, so even though I can use it, you need multiple balls to create anything of substantial. If you see any messes back there, I'm sorry, it's just a birthday bag for my husband's gift that I just exchanged. Um, this one is color 955. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it's the color Poe. I don't know, but look, it's got greens and a little bit of yellow. Kind of in intertwined. And the yellow, even though it looks a little bright here on 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 camera, it is a, a much darker. So that's one of them. And then we have this one is called Rhine. Color Rhine, once again, the same specs as Sport Weight number two. It's got a hundred and what was it? I, I say, uh, blah, blah, blah. hi, Brenda, 130 meters short term memory. You know, Crystal always says she has short term memory. Hello, me too. And this one is called uh, Ganges. This is the name, and this is kind of like pink with like a real dusty, a dusty purple. At least that's how I see it. It is a bit fuzzy. Um, suspect that it may even peel a little bit when you launder it. The information on this is machine washable, lay flat to dry. No drying machine. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Uh, it talks about a little book of Shepia's yarn and this I, I'm assuming is uh, the the lineup of yarns that they have. Is that what it is? Ooh one free pattern. It's a granny square pattern, a very familiar one to many of us. But it is it's a little different. Look at this picture. Can you make it out? It's slightly different. Interesting. Hmm. Similar to what we normally make, but slightly different. Don't fall that, don't fall. Okay. So, yeah. So they have lifted here the scrumptious yarn, which is not in here. But it's just a book, I guess, with a it's really pretty. Look at the blanket once you put it together. So this is called the Scrumptious Square Blanket. And so I guess this is just a pattern, a little pattern book. So in here, then I have, which is pretty neat, because I like these, especially if I have many of them, because I like to create a big project with men, with many of these. Oh, look, there's something else in here. They have put in here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Katona little um, skeins. Katona, and Katona is, I think, 100% mercerized cotton. Yes, it is. There's only 25 meters in each of these, and I'll try to hold them all together without dropping them. Some of these colors are repeated, some aren't. These are all the colors they sent. 
green, teal, red, multiple like a uh, golden, a golden brown, a tan, a pink, and a rustic red. So yeah, pretty neat. So they sent those. So if you're interested, once again in Katona, it is 100% mercerized cotton. This particular, these little things, these little sample balls uh, only have 25 meters. There's not much you can do. And it calls for a three, it says 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. I beg to differ. I think this is more, I would say, a 3.0 or 3.5, but to each his own. And then they also sent these little stitch markers. There's a, there's the metal um, light bulb or drop markers and then there's a little stitch marker here with a not a sand dollar but um there you go and yeah, a pretty so one of those and then four of these little light bulb or drop stitch markers so guys, what do you think? All that for $25? You think that was worth it? You know what? I think it was worth it. I hope there's some similar yarn in the other bag so that I can maybe create a project with some of this yarn and have more of it. But we will see. So this was bag number one, $25. Let me save my little... Because I'm going to try to do that, um, that granny square. This video is taking a little long. I'm sorry, guys. I normally don't take too long I'm doing my videos. Scrumptious Tiles Blanket. Ooh, so it is another pattern book. Look at that. Ooh, I like it. I like it. And let's see. Oh, God. My brain doesn't process those things very well. I guess this is how you put it together. Just looking at that intimidates me. Yeah, basically it's the same scrumptious yarn and they're just, um... They tell you how to put it together based on the... on this diagram. And then there is the joining and then there's the instructions but it's in written form. There's not a diagram of the patterns. Excuse me. It's, um, uh, this for me would take a while. Because unfortunately, I don't have the time that I had before. So let's see. Shepia Scrumptious. So here's the famous yarn they're talking about. I have, um, one, it is, let's read the specs, 100%, no, I'm lying, 50% recycled polyester, 50% acrylic, it calls for a 4 millimeter crochet hook, it's considered a DK weight, which I am in agreement with, this particular color made with recycled plastic bottles, this particular color is called French Blue Macaron, Macaron, French Blue, and it is... Uh, it's got the Ecotex Standard 100 certification. It's um, machine washable, laid flat to dry. Mm. This one is oh the French Blue Macaron, beautiful blue. I have an idea I can use for this because this one has 300 meters. I have a project that I'm going to be doing soon that only calls for like 260 yards, and I think that should be enough. This is the same yarn, and it's beautiful gray. It's actually darker in person. You're under the light, so it looks a little bit um, washed out. But this particular color is called China Sea Puddin. China Sea Puddin. What do you think? Pretty, pretty. So, I have uh, MJ's off the hook pattern that only calls for like 260, I think it was 268 yards. And I'm going to see if I can make, if I can use one of those to make the project. 
one of my favorite designers is MJ Off The Hook. If you don't know who she is, just put MJ Off The Hook in YouTube, MJ Off The Hook in Google, she'll come up. Okay. We also have a little bag, except this one's got, has a shell. Let's put that over here. And then we have something a little, oh, we have something a little bit different. Now these I may be able to combine or even use them for some holiday fun stuff. Okay. Let me put these back in here. Put this back in here. Put this back in here. If you hear machine, I guess they're knocking down some trees next door. So this one is called Soft Fun A Coral. Soft Fun A Coral. This particular color is called Cityscape. This is 60 cotton, 40 acrylic, right up my alley as well. And this one also, uh, this one has just 140 meters. And actually these two together, I may be able to also make that project that I'm thinking from MG Off The Hook. And I think this color may even be better. These are identical. So you see that's what I'm talking about. These companies that do mystery bags, they should put at least two to three of the same yarn so that you can have a little bit of uh, opportunity to work with it. Then if you love it, then you go back and buy more of the same color or more of different colors. So two of those. So we already have two of the big balls, two of those. And then look at this. Do you see the shimmer? Now this is really fun for the holidays. This is called Twinkle. Ship is Twinkle. It is 88 cotton, 12 polyester. I'm loving, I'm loving the fact that a lot of this is cotton because this is the, I'm, I'm your cotton girl. Cotton girl. Ooh, sorry. 130 meters. DK weight, my favorite weight. So I'm your cotton, DK weight. Crazy over here. That's my kind of thing. This, it doesn't have a color name. This is color number 924. Once again, it is Shepius Twinkle. Color 924. It doesn't have a name. You see the color? Yeah, color number 924 here. It calls for a four millimeter crochet hook. I agree with that. Then you have the white, color 901. Same thing, twinkle. Look at this white. Let's see if you can catch the glitter. You really cannot see the shimmer. It is white on white. The shimmer is also white, so it's beautiful. They would choose to do that today when I decide to finally record something, you know? Anyways, beautiful. Then you have this cream with gold. So, uh, sorry guys about the camera. So, the, 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 Twinkle is the same color as the yarn. So this is cream and the twinkle is gold on this one. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. If you're wondering about that sweater, that is an F MJ Off The Hook uh, sweater. She's my favorite designer. All times. And look at this black. Once again, it is black on black shimmer. Once again, Shepius Twinkle, 130 meters. DK weight calls for a four millimeter hook. Can't go wrong with that. This is like beautiful yarn for the holidays. I love that. And that was my second bag. Once again, Dots Yarn Den. That's the website, Dots Yarn Den. $25 for this bag. $25 for this bag. I think the delivery was like $10 and change, so it wasn't really that much. So really ends up being like $30 for each bag. And I'm quite pleased with it. Although there's some yarn that only there's one of each. I think there's enough that I can do something small and um, I'm put it to good use. Um, so I wanted to also let you guys know that 
I am still connected with the with the senior centers at uh, here in my county, local county. So I'm still donating yarn. They in fact sent me an email to see if I would do um, crocheting um, classes, but unfortunately with my schedule, there's just no way I could do it. It would be during the week, and it's just no way. And the cool thing is though is that the company that I'm working for, I'm an area HR manager, so I travel within the Central Florida area uh, from Orlando, Ocala, Palm Bay, Claremont, Kissimmee, St. Cloud. That's where all of my um, clinics are at because it is a medical, a medical company. And some of my clinics have wellness centers for the seniors. And the awesome thing is, is that I've also been able to donate to the wellness centers and they love it. They love the fact that they have yarn, they love the fact that they have crochet hooks, and I can actually share with more people the, um, the gifts that many of you guys donated money to buy. I still have one box of yarn, and I still have some knitting needles and some crochet hooks. I'm not buying, and I'm not, I'm not spending money anymore on, um, on um, notions. If I run low, I'll only be buying um, knitting needles, crochet hooks, and yarn, and that's it because it, beca it becomes too much. And every time you give, you don't want to be double gifting, those kinds of things. So I'm only doing the yarns and the knitting needles and crochet hooks. And I think I have plenty for a little bit more, for a few more, uh, a few more months, uh, especially as Christmas is coming up. I think I should have enough. Uh, maybe next year I'll put out the call if I'm running low to see if I can um, um, raise funds or if people are willing to donate. I'll cross that bridge once it's needed, but at this point we're good right now. My sister loves to also help with that and she also sends me um, messages all the time. Are you okay with the supplies for the seniors? I'm like, I'm good. So, let's see. What else can I tell you guys? I think that's basically it. I'm just kind of glad that I'm able to kind of touch base with y'all for a little bit and um, hang out. I know it's been a, a minute. Um, I miss you guys a ton. I um, I don't know when my next video is going to come out. Hopefully, I'm going to try to work with some of that yarn and create that MJ Off The Hook um, a pattern that I actually downloaded just yesterday. And I'll see if I, uh, once it's completed, I'll show it to you guys so you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, thank you guys for coming over and hanging out with me. For those of you who have been following me all along, thank you guys for, for just watching my videos and keeping my channel kind of alive in the, in the YouTube world. And uh, for those of you who are just stumbling by, just go ahead and, and hit subscribe. Check out the old videos, the old, well, they're not old because I don't think none of them are not over maybe two and a half years old. The tutorials, my brand stitch, which is a beautiful stitch, especially now for the holiday season, the winter season. It is the perfect stitch to create scarves, beanies. Um, yeah, so just check out what's the videos. You'll find them fun, exciting, silly. I'm also, I also do those. Those are blocking boards. They're 12 by 12 blocking board. I am sorry if anybody has sent me an email in reference to blocking boards. I really have not had the time, um, but the holes in the blocking board measure exactly 12 by 12. The board is larger, but the holes measure exactly 12 by 12. In fact, let me bring, a, bring one closer. I show you the other one because I'm sure you guys are gonna say, "Oh, I want to see that." So this is one of them. Let me put it close. You see the holes? The holes actually measure 12 inches by 12 inches. Okay, they're already finished. It is a natural finish. It's stamped with BYC crochet on the back. This is one that I designed. This one my husband designed. He was playing with some, some stuff and this one I designed. And this one also, once again, the holes are 
measuring at 12 by 12. Once again, it is completely finished. It is super smooth. I always put little feet once it gets ready for shipping. Also has the BYC crochet um, uh, logo in the back. So if you guys are interested, sorry about that. My camera just told me that I recorded over my limit. How dare it. So, but anyways, if you're interested, just send me uh, send me an email to Brenda the newbie crocheter at gmail.com. If you go to my about tab, you'll find all the details of how to reach me. Uh, even though my channel is BYC Crochet, I still have the email that reflects the old channel name, which was um, Brenda the newbie crocheter. So, anyways, without any confusion, Brenda the newbie crocheter at gmail.com. Just go to my about page, you'll find my email there and how to contact me. If you're interested in these, by, in, by all means, I believe I haven't sold one in a while because I haven't been on in a while, but I believe the price for this was $80 shipped. Brenda, double check. Let me, let me, let me pause you one second, guys. Okay, so in my about page, you'll find my email mailing address okay blocking board 12 by 12 75 dollars 75 dollars and that includes shipping i knew it was around 75 or 80. i just don't want to give you the wrong information so all the prices are there as well um i do other things so if if you are wondering but if you go and you look at blocking board 12 by 12 that's this and they will come with the pegs I will put feet on the back so it doesn't scratch the surfaces or wherever you put it, but I only have two right now. My husband is going to be going into his winter uh, schedule, which is um, uh, November through mid-March. And during that time, he starts working on all these kind of projects because um, in landscaping world, um, during the winter season, it's on one week and off one week, so to keep himself busy on those off weeks, I have a a long list of honey do lists, a, a big honey do list, and um, and she he also keeps he, he also keeps busy doing these uh, wood projects. So let me know. And I think that's it, guys. It's been great catching up with you guys. It's been great sharing my my mystery bag with you got mystery bags with you guys. Once again, the company is uh, that's yarnden.com. I'll try to tag it down below if I remember. I'm so absent-minded lately because I got so much on my mind and so much to do that if I forget, I do apologize. But just write it down, dots, D-O-T-S, yarnden.com. And they, I do believe they still have the mystery bags. Obviously, it's Shebius. Um, It's not any other kind of brand. It's all Shebius brand yarn, which is a great yarn, which is a great brand. Um, one that is well known and for $25 I, I don't think I think it was well worth it what do you think it was no more of that I love you guys wherever you are in the world I hope you're having a wonderful morning noon night evening God bless you guys from the yarning cave peace I love you guys and I will see you soon I hope bye